And here is the Writer's Almanac for Monday. It's the 13th of December, 2021. It was on this date in 1577, Sir Francis Drake set off on a trip around the world commissioned by Queen Elizabeth I. He was her own royally sanctioned Pirate. He left with a fleet of five ships. In the end, only his own ship, the Golden Hind, completed the voyage around the world. He sailed from England across the Atlantic over to South America through the Strait of Magellan, made his way up the Pacific coast, up all the way to northern California, and then around the Indian Ocean, the Cape of Good Hope, and home to Plymouth his ship heavy laden with gold and silver and spices. It's the birthday of Ross McDonald, Los Gatos, California, 1915, author of the Lou Archer mystery novels. It was McDonald who wrote the line, Never sleep with anyone whose troubles are worse than your own. He wrote by hand in spiral-bound notebooks about three pages a day, sitting in the same bedroom chair, working on several books at once, sometimes getting ideas by going to criminal trials. It's the birthday of Heinrich Heine, born in Dusseldorf, Germany, 1797, one of the most popular German poets of the 19th century. Many of his poems set to music by Schubert, Schumann, Mendelssohn, and Brahms. It was Heinrich Heine who said the Romans would never have found time to conquer the world if they had been obliged first to learn Latin. It's the birthday of the poet James Wright, born Martins Ferry, Ohio, 1927. His father worked at the same glass factory for 50 years. His mother left school at 14 to work in a laundry. James went to Kenyon College on the GI Bill, graduated Phi Beta Kappa, became a teacher, taught at the University of Minnesota, McAllister College, Hunter College. He loved teaching, considered it a high art. His first book of poetry was The Green Wall in 1957. He died in 1980 of cancer of the tongue. James Wright, who said, being a poet sometimes puts you at the mercy of life, and life is not always merciful. And it's the birthday of the playwright Mark Connolly, McKeesport, Pennsylvania, 1890, author of the play Green Pastures. Once sitting at lunch, a man felt Connolly's bald head and said, Why, well, your head feels as smooth as my wife's behind. And Connolly reached up and felt his own head and said, So it does, so it does. Here's a poem for today by June Baish, entitled Holy Ghost. The congregation sang off key, the priest was rambling, the paint was peeling in the sacristy. A wayward pigeon, trapped in the church, flew wildly around for a while and then flew toward a stained-glass window, but it didn't look like reality. The ushers yawned, the dollar bills drifted lazily out of the collection baskets, and a child in the front row began to cry. Suddenly, the pigeon flew down low, swooping over the heads of the faithful, like the Holy Ghost descending at Pentecost. Everyone took it to be a sign. Everyone wants so badly to believe. You can survive anything if you know that someone is looking out for you. But the sky outside the stained glass window, doesn't it look like home? Holy Ghost, a poem by June Baish, from Fatherless Woman, published by Cape Cod Literary Press, and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.